Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a video which is hopefully very helpful to you. I'm going to be doing a video on apps that can help you survive uni and basically everyday life. Um, this is basically aimed at uni students because I'm a uni student. I study photography if you didn't know that already. I'm going to be showing you all these different apps that are going to help you with your everyday student life. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. First one is Headspace. I am still learning how to meditate. I'm not still not sure how to do it. Let's be real here. Like I'm still trying. <laughs> I'm a learner. Um, but this uh, app is called Headspace. The man who does it is amazing his voice is so relaxing he also has loads of different limitations to do with anxiety do with helping everyday stress everything like sleeping the app is a white box with a orange circle in the middle and i've used this app for around i want to say a year now i'm not sure actually how long it's been out for but i have used it for quite a long time on and off sometimes i don't feel like using it because i just don't feel like it i'm still learning basically basically meditation is basically to calm your mind down if you're having stress with work, dissertations, everyday life, expenses, finances, family issues, anything that's stressing you out, it's making your head really fuzzy and horrible, get on meditation. You don't actually have to get this app, you can use meditations on YouTube, you can listen to nice music, but this is just an app that is really good. You have to do, you have to subscribe, and it is, let's have a look, for us in Britain, England, uh, you have to pay nine, $9.99 a month, six twenty five dollars yearly, and then forever you can pay £400. So it's quite pricey, but it's worth it to get good mental health. You can get tons of different stuff. You can get the classic guided meditation, you can get running, eating, cooking, cycling, walking. You can do, there's so many things that you can do on this app. I just want you guys to explore this app. You can, there's different uh, episodes sort of things. So there's different series, there's foundation that has all the different levels on it. There is sport, there is relationships, performance and Headspace Pro. The next one is student discounts. These are my everything. Since I've been a student and I've been a student for four years, uh, I'm actually in my second year of uni, but I have been in sixth form and now uh, I was a student there. So I could get uni days. And basically I will tell you everything about student discounts. Three apps that I have on my phone are Uni Days, NUS Extra, and Student Bean. Student Bean is really good for Domino's Pizza. If you want to get Domino's Pizza cheap, you can get 35% off. 35%, that's so good. You spend 25 pounds or more, which is really, really good. NUS Extra, if you have an NUS card, you can show the person in the shop, or you can have your NUS card number. See? And the last one is Uni Days. So Uni Days is the one that's the most popular. You have your own profile, so if you lose, like if you need a student discount card, you can get your Uni Days ID, you can just put a photo in there, and it will tell you when it's expired, so you can just renew it every year. I use this to get 50% off Spotify, so I actually pay £4 a month for Spotify every month, and it's so damn worth it, like, oh my gosh. Amazon Prime so I get that half price which is £40 a year. Next one is commuting so if you're at uni you have to take a lot of travel. Best thing to do is get a 16 to 25 rail card and with that get these apps. Get the train line app and get national rail. Obviously if you're in England those are the ones you're going to have to get. National rail and train line are really really good because they tell you exactly where the trains are, they tell you in advance, they tell you what times they come in, tell you what platform to go on, they tell you all the different stops in between if you don't really know how to use trains and this is perfect if you want to get into to using the train if you haven't used the train before this is something that's really going to help you because you're going to know everything about it you're going to be a pro you're going to be a train a boarding pro doesn't make any sense but trust me on this this is very good so the next one is fitness this can be to do with anything but the one thing that i saw that i liked recently is a seven minute workout i prefer personally to watch youtube videos because there's much more like variety and i don't feel pressured to work out because the more pressure i feel like i'm getting on to work out the more i'm not going to want to do it so they've got all these different ones they've got full body upper body lower body boot camp stretch they got all these different ones and you basically just touch one counts down what basically what you need to do and it shows you in video form which is really really good can actually skip them you can set it up to suit your needs and it is pretty good and the last one is ref me or reference me this is an app where you can reference all of your books you just scan the barcode and it basically just tells you all the information about referencing so if you're doing a dissertation or an essay or anything where you need to reference stuff that is a thing to go for and i found that really easy, really easy it can be a bit complicated because you've got to make sure that you're doing it right to your uni standards sort of thing so what they expect from you so you just got to be careful with that 
that sort of thing. Also, Pinterest is really good. Uh, that sort of thing's really good for someone in the creative industry like me because I'm doing photography. And that sort of app is really good for inspiration. So if you're an artist, if you're an architect, anything to do with fashion, anything basically, you can probably use it even if you're not. It's still going to be helpful to you. So Pinterest is also very good for that sort of thing. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. And if you'd like to, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Vicky Wishes down there please press that red button you can also press the bell and you'll get notified so yeah thank you for watching guys i love you all thank you so much to everybody who subscribed to my channel i really appreciate you you've no idea i've been doing this for quite a long time now and i appreciate every single one of you so thank you for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys yeah.